All right, we're at Wednesday Night Worlds. You can hear me yelling. I'm telling everyone, hey, there's been a bad crash. Probably the worst one that we've seen at Wednesday Night Worlds. And one of the worst crashes I've actually seen either, like, you know, at the driveway, too. Uh, I didn't capture it on footage. I was up in the front, but I heard it, and I heard something, like, horrific. It sounded like a tree, like, branch, like, snapping in half in a storm. Uh, and we'll kind of see, you know, what that was. Uh, now this kid's name is Joseph, uh, shout out to him, he's alive, uh, which is cool. But, uh, also props to Dr. Greg, like, uh, you know, he's, the kid is pretty worried about his teeth, and I think they, I don't know if they got super fucked up, uh, he has them all, which is nice. Uh, but Dr. Greg is a dentist, and he's, like, reassuring him that, hey, uh, you know, nothing too bad has happened. It's a lot of blood, a lot of blood on the ground, look how pretty that color is, though, it's a great red. Um, I'm sorry for my shaky, like, you know, spastic camera work here, by the way, because I'm obvious, I, like, want to get right up in his face because I love gore, but at the same time, I want to respect the fact that he's probably, uh, going through one right now. There's his bike, so that's what the snap was. That's aluminum, that's a LA Sprint, snapped in half. I have no, I think he had a pothole. There it is again. Also, like, I made a reel of that and ended up getting two million views, so thank you to the algorithm. Um, I just love profiteering off of, you know, sadness and, and you know, uh, the demise of others. Uh, but yeah, I think they're all good. The other guy got pretty banged up. I think his arm might have got a little broken. Um, there's Evan. Is there Lucas? Look, look at this. We're just bumping, dude. Crits are a fucking blood sport, okay? If everyone saw what happened in Salt Lake City, where, you know, you have people that should not be throwing punches at each other, throwing fucking punches. You know, you just, it's contact sport, you know? It's just, it fucking happens. Lucas, look at him. He doesn't know what's about to happen to him. He's back in town. This is a bit, pretty big rivalry because, like, I'm the best burner in Texas and Lucas fucking sucks. Even though he won, like, some pretty big race in France. I can't pronounce the, any of that fucking shit. Um, but he won one, which is, you know, good for him. You know, the World Tour dream is still alive. I'm 33, though, and, uh, you know, the young dogs are still coming after me, so... I feel pretty good about myself. Um, but yeah, world, you know, it's fun. Um, it's, it's still a good group of people coming out to this, even though it's like fucking hot. This is also the day right before my birthday, right before my 33rd birthday. Um, and yeah, I think the next day I ended up riding like 110 miles and then I got on a plane to go to Barcelona because, you know, got a, you know, carpe diem, whatever the fuck that means, seize the day. Um, it's pretty fast, this one. 31 miles an hour. This crisp is super fun. I'm glad that we had this kind of in place of driveway. Uh, you know, nothing will replace driveway. And thank God, I think it's coming back. And I'll have a lot of fun stuff about that pretty soon. Um, but yeah, we're just whirling around. Look at this. Do, 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 do. I'm on Lucas's wheel. Evan really wants to leave me out. That's like the strategy for the day. Uh, he hasn't got to do that all season. And... I'm pretty good with a lead out because uh, I like don't like fighting for wheels but if like people will drag me somewhere at 35 miles an hour I'm pretty good about you know staying there uh, like most of my like sprint wins have been like solid lead outs by other people it's like the, the fighting is what I don't like um, but crits have been kind of like I mean they're fun like this is fun I like like sm not only smaller stuff also god that fucking car he's goddamn you know, ingrates fucking leaving their vehicles out there, sleeping in them, right on our course, you know, I don't know where they get the goal, um, anyway, um, yeah, I don't know, the, the bigger crits have been, like, a little chaotic, it's like, hey, let's cram 180 people onto this course, and the courses are, like, tighter, and it's just, like, getting obnoxious, and I, like, have less of a willingness to want to die, uh, for nothing, um, it's still really fun, and like even though I crash, I never get too badly hurt, but yeah, whatever. I, I've kind of like, I don't want to say I've lost the juice, but maybe we'll come back. I fly out to Manhattan Beach because I'm going to beat uh, Corey Williams and uh, take the California State Crit Champ title. Uh, I used to live in California, and I think I could still somehow claim residency uh, there. Um, you know, I used to live in the Valley, Woodland Hills. Born in Beverly Hills, by the way. You know. uh, anyway, yeah. So I'm going to take his fucking title. Uh, there's Bo. Look at him go. There's Charlie. I remember his name. There's You can see Travis fucking mile away. Dude's like 18 feet tall. Um, yeah, you know, 21, 29 miles an hour on the back straight. It's really dusty. 
you know, this place isn't, again, well maintained. Um, we do our best, but, you know, it looks like they street sweeped a bunch of mud into the fucking course, so. We just have to make do with what we have. It's better than nothing. Um, but yeah, the group isn't too big uh, uh, with this one. You see we're passing a few people here. I mean, you know, there's really, like, I would say, like, sometimes we have, like, 80 people start this and then, like, 20 people finish. Like, you know, people get gassed off pretty quick. Um, there's a pretty big discrepancy in fitness between a lot of people. But, yeah, I'm just surfing wheels. I see my target, Lucas, right there. He doesn't even know what's fucking coming. I'm gonna kick the shit out of this kid. Uh, there's TC. Just popping along. God, people like love sprinting right into that car. Is that, oh, also like it's fun. There's been like people that come out and watch like that have nothing to do with bike racing. They just like bring chairs or like they'll park their strollers and stuff and like watch us for a full hour. They're just like kind of entertained by it all, which I think is really fun. Um, look at Travis go. There's Zach. We love Zach. Everybody loves that. I'm just filling time until two laps to go. There's no strategy here. Uh, you can look at my power numbers if you want, if you're like, you don't want to listen to me talk anymore. Uh, look at that. Also, those power numbers, remember, one's instantaneous and then one's 30 seconds. Uh, kind of getting a little gapped off here. 33 miles an hour. There's a couple of people that don't want this to be a field sprint, but mm, it's not going to happen. This big crowd. Okay, so we're at two to go, I believe, with this. Uh, two or three. We'll find out on the next lap. Uh, but I've got, you know. Look at Evan. Look at that kid. I'm sorry, I like spaced the fuck out right there. Again, I always do these in one take because uh, I don't like to put that much effort into these because what does it give me? Nothing. Uh, Look at his skin suit. That is one thing that has kind of sucked this year. Is it's been like difficult to get like clothing delivered on time. We didn't have a lot, and we team kind of went through the ringer early season, like Valley of the Sun, and then like a bunch of other races where everyone was just fucking dying and like crashing. Um, I think I've torn like two kits. I think my first ride, my kid, I crashed in Hawaii. That was pretty stupid. Um, also, we've kind of enlisted uh, the help of uh, Charlie right there as a mercenary. Um, is that legal? Probably not, but I really don't care. Um, but yeah, look at that. Also, like, Evan doesn't know this. Maybe he does, but, like, that little, like, skin suit hole that he has, like, he actually has a little, like, it looks like a birthmark tan line there, uh, which is it's very fun. You know, you kind of, like, you see it. He's like has, like, a tan in there. There's a couple, oh yeah, there's a couple people off the front. I think either like Stefan and Zach went off, or Stefan or Zach went off the front. We have one other guy there, Preston. He's done his job. I think we're coming into two to go. Or actually, we're coming into one to go. Lucas, right there, sees me. He's like, I'm going to get on his wheel. I'm going to out sprint him. No one can come around me in a straight line. It's pretty impossible. Once I get going, it's it's very difficult. Because uh, I'm, like again, 195 pounds. And I've been bulking up. I've been eating a lot. Um... So, yeah, it's kind of, you have that momentum behind you. And was it absolute watts? Corrupt, absolutely. And I have a, a lot of those, so. There's the United folks. They always love to go for breakaways. They're not really sprinters. I don't know who that is. Is that Willie Ross? Maybe. Okay. There's someone up the road. Oh, yeah. This is last lap, baby. Look at this. There's Heinz. He's in the United kit. There's a guy dangling right there. We're about to rip this up. It's about to get fucking fast. Um, and I love it. Um, oh, there's a car light that went through my window in my house and I got, it kind of tripped me up there for a second. Um, 30, 31 miles an hour on the back straight, like almost in the mud. Uh, the plan is like Charlie's gonna dump it out and Lucas is gonna take me from the final corner through the sweeper and into about 250 meters to go. Um, so yeah, it's, we start ramping it up on the backside here. Uh, at this point we've caught the stragglers and we yell for Charlie to fucking go to take us up to the front on this train. We see uh, they, they have the Torchies train right there. They're plowing ahead. They know we're coming up the upside. Uh, that was Steven too. He actually did a good job kind of getting us up to speed, but Charlie's fucking hammering um, on this back straight. I'm just sitting, I'm doing like, you know, 500 something watts, but this is exactly where I want to be. 
It's this is so fun. It is fun when this shit happens. I wish this would happen at like bigger races. It's hard when you're fighting teams that like get paid to do this for a living, and you know, I don't. But it's fun. Now, so he dumps out. He's pretty good. I tell I want Evan to go. He boxes out. Charlie boxes out anyone on the other side. Uh, unfortunately, the Torchies riders hit the long side, and they're trying to get that's TC trying to lead out his brother Gabe. It was like 30 quarter fields. I go on the inside. So no, there's no room. Yeah, it's like, you know, cracking 1500 watts a few times, like, it's nothing. And, you know, 40, 40 miles an hour, it's pretty easy for me to hit. I think I hit 41, and I post up, and Lucas gets third. Gabe gets second, and he comes around. Um, so yeah, uh, I would say that I am significantly more talented than Lucas, um, even though he's a world tour rider. So that's it. Um, yeah, bye.